God, who is rich in mercy and love, gives us a new birth into a living hope through the sacrament of baptism. By water and the word, God delivers us from sin and death and raises us to new life in Jesus Christ. We are united with all the baptized in the one body of Christ, anointed with the gifts of the Holy Spirit, and joined in God's mission for the life of the world. Sponsors? Called by the Holy Spirit, trusting in the grace and love of God, do you all desire to have Maley baptized into Christ? I do. As you bring Maley to receive the gift of baptism, you are entrusted with responsibilities to live with her among God's faithful people, to bring her to the Word of God and the Holy Supper, to teach her the Lord's Prayer, the Creed, and the Ten Commandments, to place in her hands the Holy Scriptures, to nurture her in faith and prayer so that she may learn to trust God, proclaim Christ through word and deed, Care for others in the world God made and work for justice and peace. Do you promise to help Maylie grow in the Christian faith and life? I do. Sponsors, do you promise to nurture Maylie in the Christian faith as you are empowered by God's Spirit and help her to live in the covenant of baptism and in communion with the church? I do. People of God, do you promise to support Maylie and pray for her and her new life in Christ? If so, answer, we do. I invite you to stand as you are able. I ask you to profess your faith in Christ Jesus, reject sin, and confess the faith of the church. Do you renounce the devil and all the forces that defy God? If so, answer, I renounce them. Do you renounce the powers of this world that rebel against God? If so, answer, I renounce them. Do you renounce the ways of sin that draw you from God? If so, answer, I renounce them. Let us boldly confess our faith using the words of the Nicene Creed. We believe in one God, the Father, the Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all that is seen and unseen. We believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only Son of God, eternally begotten of the Father, God from God, Light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, of one being with the Father. Through him all things were made. For us and for our salvation, he came down from heaven, was incarnate of the Holy Spirit and the Virgin Mary, and became truly human. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried. On the third day he rose again. In accordance with the scriptures, he ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. We believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, with the Father and the Son is worshipped and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. We believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church, we look for the baptism for the forgiveness of sin. We look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to give our thanks and praise. We give you thanks, O God, for in the beginning your spirit moved over the waters, and by your word you created the world, calling forth life in which you took delight. Through the waters of the flood, you delivered Noah and his family. And through the sea, you led your people Israel from slavery into freedom. At the river, your son was baptized by John and anointed with the Holy Spirit. By the baptism of Jesus' death and resurrection, you set us free from the powers of sin and death and raise us up to live in you. Pour out your Holy Spirit, the power of your living word, that those who are washed in the waters of baptism may be given new life. To you be given honor and praise through Jesus Christ our Lord and the unity of the Holy Spirit, now and forever. Amen. I invite the congregation to be seated. You're going to hold her. There you go. All the way over here. Right there. That's perfect. Just like that. Maylee K. Ham, I baptize you in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. There you go. Let us pray. 
We give you thanks, O God, that through water and the Holy Spirit you give your daughters and sons new birth, cleanse them from sin, and raise them to eternal life. Sustained mainly with the gift of your Holy Spirit, the spirit of wisdom and understanding, the spirit of counsel and might, the spirit of knowledge and the fear of the Lord, the spirit of joy in your presence both now and forever. Amen. Mele K, child of God, you have been sealed with the Holy Spirit and marked with the cross of Christ forever. Amen. It to you. Let your light so shine before others that they may see your good works and glorify your Father in heaven. Let us welcome the newly baptized. These words are not printed in your bulletin, so I will say them for all of us. We welcome you into the body of Christ and into the mission we share. Join us in giving thanks and praise to God and bearing God's creative and redeeming word to all the world. Let's welcome Maylie.